Hi guys, so this CCU here came in and if you look on here, uh, where are we? You should see a pin, that one there, maybe you can see it but it's lower than all the rest. And what's happened is, is when they've come to connect it up, you can just see the pin inside there, look, it's bent. So it's bent that pin and obviously you can't get in there to replace that pin. You got to remove the whole damn connector. So luckily, I had uh, this board. It's not the same. This is actually off a Corsa, but the connector is the same profile. So what I've done is, obviously, I had to use this tool here to suck all of these out, and you're right until you get to these bad boys, and then the. Uh, even at 4.8 uh, they take a lot of the heat out so I've been having to put my soldering iron on it and the uh, the uh, solder remover thing there we are, let's focus in just to get it to do it so obviously I'm just starting to uh, put this one back on there so I'll, do is I'll show you a bit of that process so uh, try and get that into place and clean my iron Obviously we're working our way along here. The last one I got to was this one. Soldering iron keeps turning its sun off, so it's gonna go flying out the window in a minute. But we just wanna make sure these have got plenty of solder on them. Cause obviously it's gotta draw through to the other side of the board. Just touch these last few up here. So there's plenty on them. And it's sucking it right through. There, that one looks. See, the, see how that one drained off then. It's not too bad doing these. I say the worst part is trying to remove them because uh, if you take these pads off, that these soldered to, it's as good as dead. Uh, I could do a bit more fresh flux on here, I think. A bit more flux on. And it shoots out of this bloody thing. I don't want it to come out too quick. Obviously, we'll just feed the solder in so it pulls down. I say some of these will be harder than others because obviously there's a lot of. Uh, Heat sinkage it does help if the soldering iron actually stays on. This is getting really annoying. What's going off with it? It keeps turning itself off. It's a pain in my ass. That heat in, I should draw it down, you see. So it's important that you let this soak right down so you get plenty keep the heat on it for a little bit just to so it draws it to the other side and if we check the other side actually you're not going to be able to see it but you can see on them few there look you can just see where the solders just come up the top side of the pins uh can you see it i'm not sure if you can not sure if you can see it i can see it but i don't think you can see it through the yeah, it has to pull through because some of these are connected to dual sided boards, so obviously uh, there's connections on the other side of these pins also. So, I'm just uh, obviously keep you gotta keep soldering iron clean whilst doing this. Because if you don't, it'll draw crap down into it and you'll get a dry joint. You'll always know how far to go, just to the tops of them. Just so it just sort of bowls a little bit. Like so. It's probably my favourite part of doing these connectors, taking them off. I don't look forward to it at all. I tend to put it off. But when they've got to be done, they've got to be done.
I always like to make sure there's a nice little cone on top just so I know it's flowed right through and it, uh, I don't have a dry joint on the other side which can happen if you brush them well, that's all them pins that side done now so I'll spin it around in fact actually I'll go through this next row here actually uh, a bit more flux on here I think Flux will help dry it through also. Sword and iron stand off again or something. A clean. This one's drawing a lot of heat, so uh, it's one of the grounds. I'd say pay particular attention to the ground ones. You'll know which ones are ground because uh, it will just just keep taking and taking. Alright, so now I'll flip the board, do the next side, clean the iron. This is another earth one. Plenty of heat on that because I want it to take on the other side. I think my temp thing has gone off again. It's a pain in my bloody arse, this thing. It isn't the proper one that I should have, where it's one I made. But I uh, keep sort of getting issues where it's just uh, resetting it. I would have shown you taking the connector off, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, not the easiest things. You will get some that uh, will refuse to get the solder out. And the best idea, what I do with them is, is I'll skip it because you don't want to keep too much heat on it because it'll uh, you've got a good chance of taking the pads off the board. So what I do is I leave it and then I work through the. Then once I've got all the solder off from the other pins, I'll come back to it and I'll spray some flux in and then uh, spray some flux in and put some fresh solder in it and keep the heat on for a while just to let it run through. But you can see this alright. I was going to use my other camera which could give you a better zoomed in view but I think you should be able to see with this. Trying not to be in the way of it all. Easier said than done. You see, I'm using a fine gauge solder. Really fine. Rosin core, I think it is. I'm 
long so it keeps soldering iron tip it all gets shitty after a bit and it's just the uh, it's basically burnt flux it's the flux that's burning to the soldering iron you can see it on the board as well that'll all come off with some brake cleaner shortly it's a friendly neighborhood fucking noisy bastards why get an exhaust? Why have an exhaust system when you can um, take it off and make it make some fucking racket? Temp's gone again. So I'm trying not to be in your guys way. I say just take your time, as steady as you can. You don't want to get soldering anywhere else on the board or to lift any components off. If you get too much solder on, what you can always do is clean your iron and just come back to it and just hold your siren up, soldering iron on it. Fucking temp's gone up again. And when you come back with a clean iron and it's warmed up. You just hold it on a second and you'll see it will take the rest of the solder so it will drop down then. You can see there's a bloody lot of pins, so it's uh, like I say it's not a. I mean I can do them fairly quick. Obviously we uh, an electronic uh, solder remover. It's obviously a tool to have because without that uh, you'd be using a manual one. And uh, you're unable to keep the heat on the pin when you come to remove the solder with a regular solder sucker. So, uh, I mean, you can do it with one, but it's uh, it's going to take you a few hours. If you're a patient person, you can do it. Alright, just these last few. And I'll clean it up and see what we look like. Bowl there. So I'll come back to it with solder iron. There you go. And I'll lift that last bit off. I so say you don't want a, you don't want a massive amount on it. You just want a slight little pull. So it's like a slight dome just below the pin, and then you know it's got adequate solder, and it should have flowed through to the other side of the board. Uh, if it looks a bit flat. I'd say put a little bit more solder on it because like I say these do have to connect this side of the board on the opposite side of the board also not all of them do but uh, like I say if you get the one that needs to be soldered that side and it isn't connected then you're going to have issues 
That's it. Right, so now we're going to clean it up. Some brake cleaner, some of this stuff. A knife toothbrush. Just to clean it all off. And there you go. I say still a bit of flux on that on there, um, but other than that, it's uh, it's good to go. Apart from me, I've just noticed right here. I've not done that. I missed a pin. Not to worry. I say sometimes it'll hide. It'll hide uh, what you've done with the, the flux. Once the flux starts going scabby, it, uh, it'll hide anything. Not to worry. And there we go. One complete unit. You can just about see, look, you see where the solder's come through from the other side. And obviously you can see it's a dual layered board. But, uh, yeah. Nice new connector. All we're done. Thanks for watching.